with the disciples. He, he, he said with purpose, let's go to the other side. Now think Think about that. They got in a crisis so bad that they actually said to the Savior, don't you have any idea what we're going to through? We're going to die out here. But Jesus has already told him where he was going. He already said, let's go to the other side. And you know, he took them through that process and, and allowed it to happen. He allowed the trial. He allowed the, the, the calamity. They got him down on the... He was down in there sleeping. There he goes now. <laughs> they had to wake him up. But Jesus knew. And you know what was on the other side? A mission. We just described it. Roman described it. On the other side was the <coughs> maniac of the Gadarenes. And then there was there was the the guy that was so demon possessed on the other side, he lived in the cemetery over there, and nobody could get near him. But Jesus had already told the disciples, We gotta go to the other side. There's a mission to do. We got to get you from this side to the other side. There's something to. There's a soul to win. There's a, some. There's hell to defeat. Here's there's death to defeat. Here's a guy living in a cemetery that nobody can touch. That he's wrapped in chains. Remember the story? They kept wrapping the guy in chains, and he kept breaking the chains. Jesus is a chain breaking God. He broke it as they went across, and he got to the other side, and he broke it over there. He had a mission and he had a he had a a ministry. And that's what we ought to have. We ought to we ought to live with a purpose and a mission and a ministry. And maybe Jesus allows things to happen so that we'll minister better when we're on the other side. Can you relate to how many of you can relate to the fact that things have happened in your life? You're better on the other side. He was so effective that he couldn't wait to go see that guy. The guy's got to be the worst case scenario. What's your reason for not living for the Lord? That guy, the demonic possessed, crazy man, Jesus looked those demons in him right in the eye. They said, what are you going to do with us? And Jesus says, you're out of here. They said, well, send us down into the river at least. Down into the sea. And the Bible says the last time they looked, that man was sitting at the feet of Jesus. Worship. What a great story. He had to get through the disciples' mess to keep pressing on to find fruit in the guy that nobody else could help. That touches my spirit. Because he touched me. But he touched you. Amen. 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 We have a God that can take our mess. And how long did it take, how long did the Celebrate Recovery take to fix that guy? Where's our Celebrate Recovery team over here? Yeah. You know, when Jesus shows up and he really shows up, it really doesn't take a lot of time if the guy will really give his heart and life to Christ. Here's a guy that day, clean and pure and sitting at the feet of Jesus, worshiping and saying, I'm coming with you and following you, Lord. Amen? He taught the disciples a lesson. He taught that guy a lesson and the people all over there a lesson. It was so fearful that the people said, you've got to get out of our country. We can't take any of this any longer. <laughs> and they sent Jesus on. 
but he fulfilled his mission and he's got a mission in your heart and he's got a mission in my life and he's got a mission in our lives to do. What are you doing? What are you, are you letting anything stand in the way of what Christ would like to use you to do where you can live for him 100% sold out to him? Let's pray together. Father, we thank you that we have such a, such a God such a God that can take our mess, such a God that can take our lives and turn it around in a moment and in an instant. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this opportunity here on the Sea of Galilee to remember how great you are. We count it a privilege to be called the sons of God and your servants. We thank you, Lord. Bless our worship now and bless our time here, for we pray it in Christ's precious name. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing some songs, and you need to sing, 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 okay? We're going to worship together. Here is our, uh, this is... Uh